Welcome to the Clash Bash! Today we have an exciting match for you with Riptide and Kasai. It's a bit of a game of cat and mouse. We have Riptide going first. And he's going to just do boring things. For our first time, he's just going to arsenal card and go ahead and pass it. We have Kasai coming in, brand new Kasai, excited to see it. This is going to be an exciting match because we have Kasai who loves attack reactions. We have Riptide who loves defense reactions. Now it's gonna all be about timing and who can do what. I'm super excited to see what happens. So, all right, first up we got a slice of dice. First one goes for one. Second attack is going to go for three. We're going to come in with a hot streak. So hot streaks coming for three because we get the plus one on there. If it is defended by an attack action, it will then get go again automatically. But <laughs> we see here, Kasai is probably going to have to do an attack reaction in order to get it to give it go again and get that plus three on the next line. So let's see what's happening. We got a yellow blade runner giving it plus two on the next attack and then an inertia trap coming in. So that is going to give an inertia to um, hot streak. An inertia trap is when it is greater than its base, hot streak is greater than its base. And then the side gets an inertia in there. And because of that, it does ping Kasai. But one free point, now we're even out. We're at 1919. Just that little thing evens it out. That is fantastic. So here's our inertia token on board. We have one floating. That is going to be a Centauri Saber coming in, I believe. Let's see here. It's going to be three plus two, five, six, seven from the Blade Runner. So it's going to be Centauri Saber coming in for seven on turn well, turn one, turn, yeah, turn one. That is a lot of damage coming in, but Riptide has a lot of options. We have a lot of D-Reacts. There's a lot of things in there that can come in. We can see another Nurture token. There's a lot of stuff that can happen. So, Kasai does have, should have a card in hand, right? One, two, three. Yeah, Kasai has a card in hand. Riptide's just blocking for two. Going to take five, going down to 14. All right, we got an arsenal and we have a pass. Oh, wait, wait, no, no, sorry. We don't have an arsenal. We do have an inertia token in there. So the inertia token pops. It's going to put that at the bottom of the deck. And then the... And then the pitch card should go down below. I'm listening to the players right now. They are discussing, hey, that should go down first, and then you do um, there. So if that's not the case, let me know. But that's uh, how, how, we're, how we're hearing the players discuss it. So now it's going to go over to Riptide. Let's see what we're going to do. OK, as an instant brush off, which is going to trigger Riptide so that Riptide can put a card in Arsenal. And we're popping Blossom of Spring. Ooh, what do we got? Oh, oh, we got a Death Touch for six. What a crazy good play. <laughs> a lot of work to get that Death Touch in there, but hey, it works and it gets us through it. We are blocking for six. That is one blood on our hands. Cause I just blocked with one blood on our hands which means there's only one more in the deck. That is a big, big deal. And then Riptide is arsenaling and passing. Kasai checking their deck to see what they have, if they can uh, turn on Kasai's ability, I'm assuming. Looks like we got three yellows and a red in there, so we can't quite do it this turn. And we're going to attack with Hot Streak just for two damage. Nothing, anything, anything special in there. Riptide takes two. 
And then there's an arsenal in there. Ooh, ooh, ooh. I think Kasai had a terrible hand there. That That is not a great hand. Um, when you see them pitch a yellow like that, you know, they're relying on that attack, uh, that attack action in order to give it go again. Riptide has a lot of damage. You, you wouldn't want to break your boots on that. You need the defense. You need the defense in this in order to make sure you can uh, make sure that you can stop Riptide. So we got Lace with Blood Rock coming in. We got Death Dealer triggering. And the card goes face up. That is a blue infecting shot. So that is good on on for Kasai. Poor Riptide though. It is only gonna come in for six at this point. You wanna get a little bit more out of that, so let's see what Riptide's gonna do. They did get a card, they have two cards out of it. Ooh! He gets a lace with frailty down so it's gonna give it another plus three the arrow is coming in for nine damage with two blood rots and a frailty token that is a lot let's see what this guy is going to block with and we do have one card in hand we have two floating Ooh, this do you just give up your whole hand like what do you do here that is a lot. Okay, block nine. Oh, and we do see a raise an army block in there. Okay. Fully blocked there. All right. All right. That's <laughs> that's a that's a good block in there. We do have uh, the ability to trigger Kasai the next turn. All right, what's Kasai going to do? Yep, triggering Kasai's ability. Um, so for everybody who can't, if you see that card there, it might be too small for you to read it. Uh, you have to banish two reds, two yellows, and then it is the next um, the next turn a weapon hit, create a gold token. This turn, the next time a weapon hits, this turn, create a gold token. So coming in with a hot streak, for two and there is a gold token behind it as you can see right there that represented there what have we got here what is Riptide gonna pull up all right Riptide's not blocking we're moving into reaction stage oh Kasai passed on reaction all right tar pit trap comes in and if it has go again, your effect doesn't trigger. The next time something hits, your effect doesn't trigger. Oh, no, it's the next time an attack action hits. So it's not just anything. It's an attack action, so it wouldn't affect that. In but it didn't trigger on there. So give it go again. The go again didn't trigger. Kasai did it after, which then allows Kasai uh, which then allows Kasai to not take a point of damage from, from Riptide's ability. But we do have two. No cards in hand. This is a gold that's hitting. Oh, ho, ho. and Riptide blocks for three. Not getting gold today, Kasai. And there are no more blocks. There's no reactions, nothing. That was a great play from Riptide. Totally stuff Kasai in there. Right, what do we got going here? The Riptide's thinking through. Oh, Riptide is going to activate Driftwood Quiver. What that does is that allows you to put a card from your arsenal on the bottom of your deck. So we're really just clearing out our arsenal. Death Dealer is being activated. It's putting in Searing Shot. You're gonna draw a card? Who? Coming in for Searing Shot. The Searing Shot reads that if it hits, um, it, the opponent's gonna take a damage. The hero's gonna take damage. So they lose a life. It's not arcane damage or anything. It's a lose a life. So you'd have to play a, a spell to prevent it or something like that in order to not. Die. 
Oh, and Kasai took the brunt of five damage coming in. That's coming down to 14. They're neck and neck. What's gonna happen here? Deep blue. Huh, got a full grip and he's deep bluing. They are deep bluing. What is going to happen here? Ooh, hoo, hoo. high striker coming in. That it is. The next time an attack you control hits, you create six copper. I wonder why they want six copper. We got hot streak coming in for two. All right, we're forcing blocks in here. They're gonna block with a scout periphery. So that is going to block for two. We're gonna react in here. What do we got? Oh, a blade runner. So we're gonna, a red blade runner, we're gonna add plus three. What do we got for reactions? Riptide, holding on, getting a frailty trap down. If it has go again, so it's going to ping it. It's going to create a frailty. That is fantastic in there. So that that's going to give our weapons minus one. So really, that that right there is really just it's really just one. So we got ping one, bringing in the Satari Saber for four instead of five because of that frailty token. Oh, so no reactions from that side. No blocks, no reaction. Okay, coming in for an inertia trap. It does have greater, so it is going to ping Kasai and create an inertia token. All right, what do we got here? Bringing it in with an in the swing, bringing it up to seven damage. Going over that, we are gonna create six copper. That is an absolute insane turn, bringing that up. Wow. That is a phenomenal turn. There is no card in hand, everything breaks. There's not going to be anything arsenal or hand going down to the bottom. And then we're going to drop four. So we do have six copper on there. Now, just so everyone knows, Kasai is not only looking for six copper. Kasai is also looking for a way to draw a card. So the best way to do that is to get a gold token out there. So Kasai is not only looking for the six copper, they're looking for a gold token. So far, Riptide has prevented Kasai from getting that gold token. We are blocking our drill shot. Um, so typically when you get a drill shot coming in like that, drill shot, if it hits, it puts a minus one counter on uh, equipment. So you usually block with equipment. In that case, we block with a card and equipment because if we didn't, we'd take one and we lose it anyway. So we might as well throw that down there. Coming in hot streak for two. What are we gonna happen in here? We do have two cards at hand. This makes it a very interesting decision here. There's no one hits, nothing. Okay, no reaction. And no reactions on Riptide side either. Oh, oh, oh. It didn't move on. Breaking refraction bolter. So refraction bolters says when your weapon hits, it doesn't say in reactions or anything. So weapon hit, bolters came out. And now we're swinging again with our Satari Saber for two. We do have two cards. We're blocking for three. Uh, 
no reactions. Oh, none from there. Oh, I'm curious. I, I, I want to know what was in Kasai's hand. Was Kasai calling a bluff? Were they bluffing? Did they have something to actually react and just trying to outsmart and get Riptide to put down their D-react? So interesting. This, this level of play, these two heroes against each other is a very interesting because they're both trying to stop each other like the reaction step in this matchup is absolutely nuts so we have a holding hood holding hood puts a card from your arsenal into your hand you get to replace that card with something from your hand with something from your hand not just the top of your deck so you get to put it back in your hand you get to put the card down okay falcon wing oh we are going wide this turn so falcon wing comes in with go away again, and we still get to use our bow and get a card. Okay, we're blocking for three. We're stopping that. All right, Reptide, what have you got for us? All right, we're pitching a blue, a right, so we put down a withering shot, it looks like. Looks like it's a blue withering shot, huh? Right. I'm assuming there's probably going to be some buffs behind this. <laughs> That's crazy. No. Just coming in for three with the withering shot. Going to create a frailty token, which is honestly a frailty token against Kasai. Putting her sword sound to one. That is a big deal. That is a ton of damage that you're losing out on. Kasai is all about consistently getting out two and two, two and two, and, and buffing her sword. Okay, we're blocking three. Uh, oh, many reactions. Oh. Oh, what's gonna happen here? Does Reptide have reaction? No reactions. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. All right, Reptide's arsenaling. Ooh, Kasai is being pulled out. Okay. So we're going to have some on hit effects behind these swords. Oh, they're checking. It looks like Iron Song response. Kasai has blocked with both Iron Song responses, and Riptide is calling that out that they're, that those are both not. Okay. Ooh, that is a yellow. They're yellow. I mean, for Hot Streak for two. You're just begging your opponent, block me with an attack action. I want to have go again with two. There is a gold token behind that. Okay. No reaction. What do we get for there? There, one in arsenal. Yep, one in arsenal. Pitfall trap. That is the perfect trap right there. So you're going to take that one. There's no way. So you do trigger. Your uptight trigger pings you for one. There's no way Kasai is going to let that do too damage to them. No way. Okay, so we got one run through. Oh, wow, no blues in hand. So that was the exact card that Kasai needed. Kasai was gonna have one wasted anyway. So there's four coming in with a with a gold token behind it and there's no cards what do we got oh has the perfect trap buzzsaw trap comes in and says when it defends an attack that is greater than the base the attack can't gain damage this turn so that's gonna put it down to two and buzzsaw trap blocks out the gold that's the exact card that Riptide needed. That is in 
Same. Look at that stuffing, two gold turds. Man, who does not want Kasai to have that gold? And that's exactly what you need to do because a gold with four, or excuse me, a gold with six copper is exactly what Kasai needs in order to pull off her blunt on her hand turn. Kasai has almost has her setup in there. Oh, coming in for five with death touch. You have to block this. There's no way. You're at 10 life. Riptide is at six. Riptide has damage that can just ping you out of there. You don't want to lose a lot. There's no way you want to lose seven to this death touch. You got to give two cards. That or a card in two pieces of armor. We are hitting towards the late stages, so now is not a terrible time to use armor, but it doesn't feel great. Yep, so blocking five. That definitely doesn't feel great though. That is a, that it, when you're at 10 life, you're blocking two, you're trying to prevent that, get set up. Oh, after you commit a card and two armors, you're getting Snapdragon in there. Ripping more cards from Kasai's hand. Let's see what, what it's gonna hit at. Death Dealer coming in, all right. What are we gonna put in? What's gonna put in there? A bolt and shot, all right. Drawing a card. As a Kasai player, this is not something I love to see. Drawing a card. Lace with inertia. Coming in for seven. Riptide is just showing how powerful he is. Coming in with those crazy good arrows, high numbers, buffing them up, hitting all those breakpoints. Like that is absolutely phenomenal. Kasai hat doesn't have armor to stop that breakpoint. You either give your hand or you're taking it. Oh my goodness! Kasai is taking the full seven and getting an inertia token. What the heck are they thinking? Three is such a dangerous number. Oh my goodness. And there is our blood on our hands turn. That is why Kasai is taking the full Seven. Oh my goodness, they're trying to finish it off. They're trying to just get it over with and finish this game off. Six is it. You're either going to take Riptide's whole hand or you're going to <laughs> you know, get them down to zero. Okay, given them two. We do have six copper, so we can do every mode twice. Oh my goodness. Oh, and we're triggering Kasai behind that. So just so we know, blood on our hands is you have three different modes. You can pay for it twice, one copper per mode. Uh, per payment so you can put down two plus one plus one counters on your weapons you can make your weapons have go again so if you want both of them to have go again you have to pay two copper and you can allow them to attack twice if you want both your weapons to attack twice you pay you know two copper each so that's six copper total okay oh -ho. Coming in with hot streak, three attack. And oh again. One part of me. We can do with it. Oh, -ho, we get a frailty trap. That's gonna be if it triggers go again. 
so you create a frailty and you're gonna ping Kasai down to two. It's blocking three, it's pinging Kasai, giving them a frail token. And we did pop, we did pop the, um, we pop the gallantry gold. So that is going to counter effect that. So gallantry gold was trying to push it up, give it, give all your weapons plus one. That frailty token negates that. What a crazy, crazy play. Look at that. So now it's coming in for two. We spent that one on gallantry gold. That is just nuts. All right, Riptide is not blocking. They're both calling no reaction and Riptide's gonna take the two. Okay, so we have a gold. Oh my goodness, we do have that. So we're gonna pitch two, we're gonna draw a card. Kasai is digging. Kasai was lo is looking for something. So now it's coming in for three instead of four because of that frailty, that frailty coming in clutch. Coming in clutch. Stopping all that damage. So that's three extra damage that's stopping. Two of that is on break points. Like that is nuts. Blocking three with a red withering. Okay, so now it's going up to four because of that trigger. Now, Centauri Saber does keep that. When, when Kasai attacks one more time with that Centauri Saber, it's going to keep that plus one on there. So that next attack is going to be four. Oh, we are breaking the hood of red sand. We pay one. We have to banish a red and yellow. If it hits, you get to draw a card. We don't have any cards in hand. Kasai has no cards in hand. She's gonna draw up. What? Uh. Oh! Spike pick coming in here. This card is absolutely insane. Let's let's read it together. When this defends attacking hero is played or activated, a reaction. This chain link put the top card of their deck on their graveyard, and then they lose X life, where X is the number of cards in their graveyard with that name. Okay, looks like Kasai accidentally put the High Striker in their Banish Zone. They're putting it up there in the Graveyard. Oh my gosh! It's gonna trigger! It's gonna take one from that and Riptide triggers and it knocks out Kasai! What just happened? Riptide coming out and stealing the game right during a Blood on Her Hands turn. So powerful so good such great stuff from our player Whew. that right there is why we're doing the clash bath what a phenomenal game what a phenomenal game thank you everybody for joining us join us next time for another round of the clash bath